Ever since the Industrial Revolution, man has made gigantic strides in technological innovation. We in the 21st century have done no different. Right now, you know, starting in the late 80s till, till now, we are in a major inflection point in, in human civilization. We live in a dramatically new world. Global competition is very, very challenging. I don't think there's ever been a better time to be alive than right now. In a world of exponential change, how do you develop your own brilliant ideas and craft innovations that truly sell. In business, it's never a question of not having enough resources. It's a question of not having enough resourcefulness. Your ability to think out of the box and bring something extremely innovative and novel. One of the most distinguishing characteristics of highly creative people, which is their ability to embrace the unknown, to be comfortable and even maintain their smile in the face of uncertainty and change. There are probably one success for every 100 or 300 failures. It's not that the 300 failures didn't have the creativity. They just didn't know how to translate into an innovation and into an execution. Find out how the revolutionaries of our time are making their mark in business, education, technology and the arts. It's almost like I'm channeling something that's bigger than me, and I'm just the vehicle that's going to help to express it to the world. These opportunities are in front of many, many people. What happens is they don't take advantage of them. Learn how to recognize opportunities when they arise. The brilliant idea is, uh, is actually not as rare as people think. Luck doesn't walk down the street with a sticker saying, I am your luck. Chance doesn't walk down the street saying, I am that chance. How to modify existing ideas and breathe life into them of your own. Google wasn't the first search engine. You know, Facebook wasn't the first social site. You know, Zynga wasn't the first game company. The, the breakout companies, the ones that are worth billions and billions of dollars, they're usually not the very first ones with an idea. They were the first ones to take that idea and to execute it almost flawlessly and lead a life of constant inspiration, creativity, and innovation. You can't be creative when you're sort of under pressure. It is the outcome of living a life of meaning and purpose. The most important thing is to understand yourself. Who are you? What would you like to do? The success and creativity basically come when you put in the time and the effort. Divine intelligence. It is not classified, it is not territorial, it is universal, and I think it is grace. It is available for you, me, and for everybody. Be really, really strong in your own skin, your own values, your own vision. Hear from renowned speakers and experts in the fields of leadership, creativity, and innovation. Most often people define themselves in terms of, oh, you know, I'm not a very creative person or I do not think creatively. This is a fundamental error. Our challenge is to make ordinary people do extraordinary things. By trying this different way of doing things and different ways of thinking, you may actually find ways to change what you think is the life that has been imposed on you.
world is changing, your company is changing, do what you think is right. And by taking risks, by learning, by stretching, by moving into your next level of excellence and possibility.